the regular season, Richard, is finally here. Well, I am excited to work with you again this season. Cannot wait for the schedule. Oh, to work with you, Kev, man. You're a legend, and it's always an interesting journey. We're fired up. These teams are fired up. Let the games begin. And now the opening lineup for Boston. The wing pairing, it's white and brown. Jason Tatum is out there with Porzingis, and it's Holiday in at the point. Now here's Green. After the miss from Derek White, and stolen by Tatum. Brown with it to the middle. Here's White. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Guy's oh, just ridiculous. He's just an absolute surgeon when he has the ball. This man is surgical. There is no way to slow him down when he wants to score. Now here's Van Vliet. The pass to Green. He kicks it to Brooks. And it's off from three-point range. And when you look at Dylan Brooks, he's someone that doesn't mind playing the villain. Yeah, he definitely seems to embrace this villain role, Greg. And look, a guy like that that keeps getting under your skin, that can be a benefit for your team. Now Brooks, after Jason Tatum, missed on that last three-pointer. Van Vliet passes to Green. Brooks outside. Five on the clock. Over Brown. Nice shot by Brooks. And Brooks needs to keep taking and making those jumpers. It's only going to help his confidence. Zingas high post. And the shot goes down. Nice ball movement there. Delivered the pass right on time. Now about two minutes gone here in the first quarter. Green against White. Puts it up from 12. And Green gets it to go. I love seeing Green capitalize from that mid-range. These shots help get him into a groove. Now Tatum. Banked in off the glass. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Shengun with a screen on Holland. Rzingis with the steal. Brown with it. He's picked up by Brooks. Pass to Holiday. Tatum kicks to Brown. Drains the three, and yes, he'll go to the line for one more. It goes on Dylan Brooks. And Greg, the massive contract extension for Jalen Brown this past summer, for a time, the richest in NBA history. Hey, you gotta pay to play, or in this case, to contend for titles. With Tatum and Brown, the Celtics have that opportunity. Surely one of the top players in the NBA, but Jalen Brown has many other interests outside of basketball. Yeah, he likes to keep those brain muscles just as in shape as he is. He spends a lot of time playing piano, chess, doing yoga, and reading to keep himself sharp. Love how selfless he is setting brick screens like this. Plays like that right there are what help create easy scoring opportunities. Holiday finds Tatum. And slam dunk by Tatum. Ooh, how about those nifty moves from Tatum? So crafty with the rock. Rockets trail by five. First quarter play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. Second shot opportunity. Offensive rebound. Look, the defense was locked in on him there. They know how dangerous he can be, and they guarded him perfectly. Brooks against Brown. And there's a whistle. That goes on Dylan Brooks. That's foul number two for him. Picking up that second foul early is tough. He'll have to be careful, and we'll see how much coach trusts him to not get that third. So the Celtics call timeout, though, for the Rockets. Jock Landale's checked in for Shengu. Whitmore comes in for Dylan Brooks. And it's Thompson in for Fred Van Vliet.
105 left here in the opening quarter. Yep, it counts. Brown's got five. I love seeing Brown get it done inside. He's more than just a jump shooter. Now here's Thompson. He's tightly guarded. It's good. How about that move? Is this guy special or what? Just love watching him operate inside. Horford with a screen on Thompson. Brown against Green. Now here's Brown. Not a lot of room. Good on the shot. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. They set the pick. Here's Green. Al Horford with the rebound. No clue how he misfired on that shot. You don't see that from him very often. Pass to Hauser. Green against Brown. Horford with the screen on Green. There's Brown with the three. And the Celtics hit again from deep. Excellent all-around performance so far. Hence the big lead. They got off to such a hot start, and that can keep you energized throughout the whole game. And after just one quarter of play, a double-digit differential on the scoreboard. Celtics lead by 10. We'll get right back to the action when we return. so far through one quarter it's been a lopsided game we'll see if that changes here in a second and let's take a moment guys to get your take on the scoring so far for the Celtics oh boy they've been driving deep into that defense early on and it's paid off great penetration from the perimeter so far on top of that they're creating turnovers and taking advantage by converting on the offensive end here's Thompson Really played well against Portland in his last out. Oh, Richard, the Celtics, an excellent defensive team. Very disciplined. Yeah, you don't see them gamble for a lot of steals. They do a great job of just staying connected and challenging shots without foul. On the court for the Celtics, second quarter underway. They've got Horford, and it's Hauser in at the three. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Thompson twins, Ahmed and Asar, became the first set of twins to become first-round draft picks this summer. Ahmed said making the NBA has been our whole dream since the third grade. Asar added, I always have someone there to push me and to keep it 100 with me. We're never too high or too low, and we're always just there for each other and want one another to succeed. Kevin? Oh, man, that's tremendous. David, thanks. Here's Shengun. Following the three-pointer by Boston. Shot clock at six. The shot by Thompson, no good. Boston leading by 11. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. Passes it to Cornette. Beyond the arc. The Rockets pull it in. shengun has got his fifth rebound in this one. Holiday with it, and it's Horford picking him up. Holiday looking over the floor. Shengun inside. The seven footer falls. Shengun's got his second basket. And such great feel for the game. With more knowing where his teammates are at all times. Tatum, that's for two. It's rebounded by Houston. Now you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Yeah, it's a great look for him. One they'll try and manufacture again. Those are the shots you want him to take. Count it, and the Celtic lead has been cut to just seven on the basket from Green. RJ, we know almost all players will talk and plead their case to the refs. How much wiggle room do you think players are allowed? Well, I think every player is different. Look, if you are a captain of the team, it doesn't have to be a veteran. You don't have to be an all-star. But every ref has a limit. That's the beautiful thing about this league. The referees are humans, too. you got to get to know them. you got to understand them and realize who you can talk to about what. Hey, Richard, you look at Houston's roster. 
They are stacked with high-level athletes. The Houston Rockets have done a great job of adding players that they feel can add strength and cultivate skill. Because athleticism, that's something that you just can't teach. That free throw good from Thompson. Thompson is one of the best pure athletes to come into the league in quite some time. He's fast, and boy, can he fly. Looking at who's out there now for the Rockets. Jabari Smith, he's jacked in for Shengun. Dylan Brooks comes in for Jeff Green. Jalen Green's checked in for Whitmore. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for Aaron Holiday. He makes one of two that time. Richard, the Houston Rockets were once a powerhouse team in the West, especially during the 2010. Yeah, they even gave the KD and Steph Curry Warriors a run for their money. Look, the James Harden era in Houston was special, and now they're trying to get back into contention. He's a really big man. Kristoff has insane handles for someone who is 7'3". Normally, it's hard for players that tall to keep the ball on the bounce. Now, here's Brooks. Nine points last game. Back to Thompson. Shoots over Brown. Another miss by Houston. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Smith against Porzingis. Smith dishes to Thompson. Brooks outside. Van Vliet outside. Back to Brooks. On the wing, Thompson. Houston needs to get a shot. And here's Van Vliet from the other. That drops and it comes off an assist from Brooks. And he's got a smooth stroke from long range. Van Vliet doesn't just hoist them up. His three-pointers are always going to be high-quality shots. Now here's Tatum. The pass to White over Green. The jump shot from the baseline is right on target. And the Celtics lead by seven. I, I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. Thompson outside. On loads. It's in. It's his third field goal of the game. He's three for five. And great find by Van Vliet. He's in control of this offense and generally makes good decisions. Persingas with a screen on Brooks. Here's Tatum. Here's Persingas. And the dunk by Persingas. When he's on the floor, offensive rebounding is always going to be a strength for them. Greg, he keeps so many possessions alive, doesn't he? Yeah, you can feel Coach smiling on the sidelines with every offensive board. Smith against Porzingis. Thompson left side. And again, the Rockets good for two. His accuracy is on another level this quarter. Really high quality shooting. Outside Tatum. A three from Porzingis. What a play! He simply drains it in at the buzzer. Now, this is how you finish a first half, sending them to the locker room with a statement shot from three-point range. And so... And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. It's been a clinic out there by Jalen Brown. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. He always wants to be a go-to guy for them. I'm sure he'll be calling for the ball even more in this half. The guard spots are Van Vliet and Green. At the forward spots, it's Brooks and Smith. And it's Shangun in at the center position. That's the five for Houston right now. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thank you, Kevin. The Celtics are playing with a high level of motivation. All-star Jason Tatum says what we talk about before the game, halftime, is win by any cost, by any means. Figure it out, win the game, and build great habits along the way. Kevin? Still room to grow. David, thanks. A yeah, quick trigger. And from that range, if he senses the defenders have backed off, forget about it. What an entrance to the league Jalen Green has had. So much success early on in his career, and it was expected. He's a scoring machine. Anything he's asked to do on the floor, he can get it done. Here's Smith. Count that one. Smith's got his first basket. 
A sometimes underrated playmaker, Green showing good patience and vision. Van Vliet against Holiday. Let's a floater go. In deep, Tatum drops it in. Tatum's got six points. Making the floater look this smooth is not as easy as it looks. It's a challenging shot. Green taking his time here. Van Vliet wide open. A three-pointer no good. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Tatum, that's for two. And there are the Celtics with another basket. Savvy play from Holiday. Quick thinking helps him get the ball to the wide open man. Green against White. Van Vliet outside. Shoots the three. Porzingis with the rebound. And the defense dodged one right there. Not the guy you want to leave open. Outside Tatum. And here's Brown outside. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Tatum's got four assists in the game. You know this is coming with Brown. He is a ruthless sniper outside. Now here's Van Vliet driving to the basket. RJ, when we talk about the Boston Celtics, they've transformed into a real heavyweight out east. Oh, they are a dominant team out east, one of the dominant teams in this league. Look, they have so much young talent and talent that they drafted and developed. This group, their only job is to contend for championships. We throw good Van Vliet. Jacques Landale's checked in for Alperin Shengun. And a change for the Celtics. Horford's checked in. And so Van Vliet nails both of them. And last season, Greg, the Rockets tied for the league's second worst record. They expect a different outcome this go around. Yeah, their veteran additions headlined by Fred Van Vliet. Key to turning the tide, but also continued progression by their youngsters. Two minutes. Holiday against Van Vliet. And that's collected by Drew Holiday. Celtics leading by 11. He dishes it to Tatum. 137 left in the third quarter. And so Van Vliet will bring it up for the Houston Rockets. It's Smith. And it's Smith finishing it off. Just taking off. Smith showing you why you cannot leave an opening because this man will find it. On the wing, a holiday covered by Van Vliet. And Tatum launches it from deep. It's rebounded by Houston. And even though he hasn't been himself, it hasn't affected his team too much. They've still got the lead. Green against Brown. It'll go. The Boston lead is cut to just seven on the basket from Green. Making things happen amongst those trees. Green, he's pretty relentless. Van Vliet against Holiday. It's Brown on the wing. Outside, Horford. Kicks to Tatum. Let's it go with the three. Tatum with another miss. See, what a rough quarter for him. Nothing seemingly going his way. Brooks the pass to Van Vliet. There's a screen. Buries the long-range jumper. Now just a four-point Boston lead. And the stroke of Van Vliet is so nice, proving once again why he's so valuable to this team. Tatum looking around. For the three. Ah, Tatum an assassin! This is what great scorers do. Tatum rises to the three-point challenge. And so it's the Boston Celtics headed to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. Shooting the ball so well in this one, a great performance from the field.
back right after this. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. I feel like we've seen more slick passing big man in the league today than we've ever seen. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks as always for joining us. Celtics leading by seven. On the court for the Celtics. They've got Tatum, and it's Hauser in at the three. Tatum passes to Pritchard. Into the lane, over Whitmore, and it's Boston with another. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You got to show some fire and keep defending. Here's Shangun after the basket by Boston. And Thompson kicks to Green. And some nice passing there by Houston. The kick out to Holiday. That's the three fly. And the three ball is good. Holiday's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Boston's gone 6 of 14 with the three ball tonight. Just a little over 40%. Pass to Pritchard. Hit by Horford. Here's Pritchard, guarded by Holiday. Tatum down low. Working on Green. A nice shot by Tatum. And he's shaking off that slow start, giving them a boost here in the second. Holiday, the pass to Shengu. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. You love how each side has risen to the challenge throughout this one. Man, this has been a fun one, but look, who doesn't love a high-scoring game? Well, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for the Celtics? The name of the game in the modern NBA is making threes. Space in the court, and that's exactly what they are doing tonight. And on top of that, they're getting a lot of points off assists. And it's always a good sign when your team is working as a cohesive unit. A free throw dropped for Shangu. And we've seen some pretty impressive things from Alperon Shingun. Yeah, young fella already has a record to his name. The youngest center to get at least 30 points, 15 rebounds, and five assists in one game. Do you want to know who the previous record holder was, Greg? Listen, I got you. It was Shaq. Gets drilled by five. Pass to Smith. Back to Holiday. It's good, the assist that time from Smith. Heads up play by Smith, giving it away instead of forcing something. For Boston, they've gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. Here's Pritchard. Passes it to Tatum. Takes a three. In for his seventh break in 14 tries. And certainly, they are not hesitating. Letting it fly from deep here in the second half. Thompson against Holland. It's blocked. Horford with it, and Holiday picks him up defensively. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. And no matter what they've tried, the D just has not been able to deny them the ball inside. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. for the Rockets. Brooks checked in for Whitmore. Jalen Green comes in for Thompson. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for Aaron Holiday. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. 
Thanks, guys. Listened in on what Joe Mazzulla told his team. Now, they've been happy with the way the team is shooting. He reminded players to keep taking those threes, that they've had some clean looks. And when that three goes in, it's always a welcome sight. Guys? All right, David, thanks. So it's the Celtics now. They've led by as many as 11 points. Brown against Brooks. Brown kicks to Holland. Six to shoot. Pulls up on the wing. Rebound by Smith. And so it's Smith with it. He'll bring it up for Houston. Four-point game. Rosingas with the steal. White with it. Now Green defending. White goes in. That one good for two. And how's that? Four move. The killer crossover. That's a thing of beauty. Rockets have gone an outstanding four of five from the field in the fourth quarter so far. Van Vliet against Hunter. Van Vliet can't get it to go. I thought he had that ball sewn up, but somehow the defense just threw him off. Here's Tatum. And another basket for Boston. Oh, a big night for Tatum. This is a guy who's put up 60 in the game. There is a short list, very short, that I am not on who have done that. Now here's Van Vliet. This one for three. The Rockets with another miss. You know what? He's got to look to get other guys involved. The three-point stroke is off. And they're moving it up. Stolen by Holiday. There's 49 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Tatum kicks to Holiday. Back to Tatum. Holiday sets the pick for Tatum, and Holiday has it in the corner. Just four to shoot. Sinks the triple. Holiday's got the lead up to 11 now for Boston. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. And let me tell you, as a team, you love to hit your stride right at the crucial moments. They put this game away in style. Now here's Van Vliet. He kicks to Green. To end the run, hands it from downtown. Continuing to improve that three-point shot, Green hits this one. And here is Tatum. It's the Celtics picking up the win. They came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. And, and Kevin, how about the mental toughness that this group showed? They, they were never yes. rattled at all by the opposing fans. And now.